Hello. We're back with another Remedy Ranch video. It's been a very long time. And uh, this is probably going to be my most sensitive and uh, contentious Remedy video that I'm probably going to make. So before I begin, I am not a doctor. I have no training. In anything. I'm not certified in anything and I don't know anything and you shouldn't listen to anything I say because I'm probably a freaking idiot. And um, also, before you do anything in your life, you should consult a doctor and maybe a lawyer and a priest too. Okay. If you are a man, or rather, if you just you happen to have a... Um, a ding dong, and I use childish language not to, uh, not because I'm afraid of uh, using the more adult words, but rather YouTube is very sensitive these days. So I, I, I'm trying not to say any trigger words. I'm trying. So yes, if you have a ding dong, and um, it's not working very well, specifically. Um, you have problems with tenting. Tenting is, is apparently the medical word for when your ding dong goes um, from uh, sleeping mode to, um, you know, yeah, that's called tenting. You know, because when you build a tent, you stick the pole in the tent and, then, and the tent goes up, I guess, like how when you're wearing pants. I, I don't know, but yeah, you can imagine allegory. So tenting is the word we're using. And Especially if it has worked well in the past and it doesn't anymore, um, it's still it's still functional. Okay, it still works. It just uh, it's not tenting very well or as well as it used to. Uh, and you're not particularly old. Uh, it's not a testosterone issue, as far as you can, you know, as far as you know. Uh, especially, but not not uh, exclusively, but especially if uh, your problem uh, is possibly medication related. Uh, a lot of medications, specifically, um, a lot of psychiatric medications. Uh, can cause uh, tenting problems and it's not always an option to stop taking these medicines because uh, you need them and they work. There, There is a potential solution. Don't get super excited. Uh, I'm not promising anything but there is a potential solution you can try that is relatively inexpensive requires no prescription and uh, is not potentially dangerous. Uh, and while I'm not a professional in anything, I can say that this has helped me personally. Um, and while discussing such things and making a video about it is always very touchy for people. I will say that I have had some issues, um, specifically because of medications that I've been taking in the past, um, and med you know, and uh, medications that you can't really stop. And I was looking for a little extra assistance. Now um, there's there's the prescriptions, but uh, well, even if you have insurance, I don't really want to pay for those. The insurance is, it depends on your, like, or, or, or the insurance will pay, but they pay for one pill a month. Um, and there are some health concerns with certain of these prescriptions. Plus, depending on the prescription, some of them you have to take right before and how you're going to know. Um, or maybe, you know, for whatever reason, we're not talking about prescription assistance. So I found um, solutions on the internet. And I found one that actually helped, helps me, works. So I'm passing it on to you guys. Okay, so this is what it is. 
first is a combination first of all so it's not just one supplement so you're going to take uh, and I'm showing you this particular brand only uh, for just you know visual aid purposes I'm not uh, in any way affiliated with this brand and you don't you know buy any brand you want it doesn't matter to me I don't care I mean I, th I, I use this one I think it's okay um, but I use it mostly because it's cheap and if I you know had unlimited money I probably wouldn't use this brand uh, so yeah okay so the first there is a supplement called L citrulline okay uh, I take the capsule I hate tablets Blah. so I take two of these okay now along with this supplement at the same time it's very important that at the same time you're also going to take L arginine now L arginine um, is probably more well known for a lot, a lot of people say that it does help with tenting uh, in, but uh, issues in the past basically you need to take a lot of L arginine to make it work and it's too expensive and at a certain point it does obviously become da anything you take too much for anything it becomes dangerous like uh, if you take L arginine by itself for tenting issues um, they say you need to take like for 20 grams a day something crazy uh, but when you take L arginine with L citrulline they basically work synergistically and you need much less arginine which is the whole point so the, for the L arginine I'm probably pronouncing it wrong um, you want to take well it depends the, 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 this comes in tablets and capsules uh, I, basically for the arginine you want like two grams of, you want to take two grams uh, more or less um, so you want to take like uh, two tablets but uh, you could also if you take in the capsule like 1500s okay uh, and if you want you could even take three grams or aka you know three tablets uh, don't take more than that um, if, if uh, you know if this is not helping taking more won't help more it just won't help you okay um, so you want to take two citrullines uh, the citrulline the dosage isn't as important uh, I just find you know, I just take you know the basically the um, bottle dosage and that's uh, for the capsule it's it's basically three uh, three grams is one like a 1500 milligrams each for the capsules um, the arginine dosage is a little more important uh, and there's a little more wiggle room but uh, it's basically like you take one pill you take two or maybe you take three but that's it uh, because, because at that point it's not that you know it becomes dangerous all of a sudden uh, but at that point it's just not going to help you um, and finally the final uh, supplement, you know, what you take, and uh, you're taking all these together, is you take one uh, pycognigena, the guy I can't pronounce this, I was going to curse, I'm trying, not to, I'm trying to curse less, make YouTube happy. Um, I take one, and you just take one. This is kind of expensive, but... Not not crazy. I mean, it's still cheaper comparatively, but you know, expensive for me because I'm cheap. So you take all three of these together, okay? Um, and I would say uh, you should notice a difference fairly quickly. Um, it's not like a kind of it's not like medication where you need to take it every day and then you slowly start to see an effect. I noticed. Uh, it helping um, within a few days uh, so if you take it for like two weeks and it's not helping you it's not gonna help okay um, and you, you do not have to take it right before activity uh, I take it every day in the morning with with my other supplements I just take it like a regular supplement I just take it in the morning and it does the job um, 
when I say does the job I mean it definitely helps with my tenting and I and uh, I, I can't promise you results okay uh, all I can tell you is that it worked for me and that I didn't just come up with this uh, I, I basically looked for a solution on the internet and uh, I found one that works for me. Um, there are answers online for many medical issues. It's just separating the scams and the snake oil from supplements that could actually do something that's difficult. There are people who just look at the first Google result of a random search and you know and they just choose to believe whatever they read um like it's all about co co collaborate corrobor corroba cor caraca you know information from multiple websites and sources and reviews and making sure that people you know don't have um a financial stake in the product that they're pushing or whatever and never buy something that is designed supposedly specifically for a condition like if the name is like you know tent tent plus or something you know and it's basically marketed as something to solve this issue an issue you know tenting for example then it's a scam um the idea is to find well not okay not always a scam but nine times out of ten uh the idea is to find supplements that people take for whatever other reasons and that you find that people people will mention oh but it also does this a particular um uh mineral or herb or something so when when something is marketed as 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 more generically and uh people use it for other purposes and it's just sold as for example l arginine not you know ding dong saver or something that that that's always i mean there is no guarantees but that's definitely a positive sign like any you know whenever like never click on those stupid banner ads for stuff promising things because that those those are the, those are the stuff you know for sure bogus like um arginine for example is is a general okay and i'm i'm edging on the borders of my knowledge i could be incorrect here but like arginine is kind of a general facilitator which basically means it enhances blood flow um, and bodybuilders use it to help with workouts and stuff and uh, people find out that you know blood flow blood flows in all sorts of different places you know what I'm saying so um, that's the idea that's that that gives you at least some inkling that maybe this you know there's truth to a claim when a supplement is, is used for something but you find that maybe it could be used for something else you know as long as it's not if you, if you want to use it like if, if they're not marketing it for something then it's then when someone else says that maybe it's good for that that then you can sort of believe it when a product's marketed for something that whatever that something is I'm less inclined to believe it because marketing is is you know just lies and that was a bit rambly but uh yeah, so this worked for me. Hopefully, it'll help you if you have a problem. And um, if it doesn't, then, you know, it really, it, 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 the thing is that some problems, some medical issues can have multiple causes. And I think, you know, this is one of those things where this, will, this helps if only your issue is, it ha, you know, your symptom has the same cause, you know what I'm saying? But if it's just, I think if you have basic, basically if you have a problem specifically, I think with blood flow, circulation, and libido, uh, which uh, may or may not be caused through medication you're taking, then uh or like or like a medic especially medications that could affect your your neurologically or your or your nervous system then i i think that this definitely might help you and i know it does help me uh and i've been taking it for a while uh, there's no issues with tolerance or anything like that you don't have to change the dosage it just works or it doesn't um take it every day 
because there there is a small level of like um, build up and long term effectiveness. I wouldn't just take it as needed. Um, but you know, if you don't take it, it like it's not like it keeps working. So if you don't take it three days later, it, it you know it's gone. It's not like something that stays in your system. It's just there is a general kind of effectiveness that I would recommend taking it every day. Um, and one small note, I have noticed that it does increase your libido uh, by a noticeable amount. And sometimes that's not necessarily a good thing if uh, you don't have a way to release your um, urges. It might actually be a little bit irritating. Because, you, you know, if you don't have a libido and then you go from having one, you know, so keep that in mind. No, it's, it's not going to turn you into like a psycho or something. I'm just saying that you might go from, you know, just being what, like whatever to, you know, I'm going to I'm going to search the web for some some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I need, you know, I got some urges I need to release. So just keep that in mind if that might be an issue with you. Um, so, Yes. Once, you know, arginine, citrulline, um, pisigit piconigenol. Pi, pi, Take all three together or don't bother taking it at all. And um, just take it in the morning. And by the way, it is, it is good for workouts too. So if you are doing weight training or cardio, um, you could just take it before you do your, and it'll help with that and it'll also help you with, the other stuff in general but this is one of those issues that are so complicated I ain't making any promises okay so don't come crying to me and um, please don't go crazy I know people when it comes to stuff like this uh, people really really want to solve that problem if it doesn't work don't start like chugging the whole bottle okay either it works or it doesn't so don't go crazy on the amount, all right? And um, hopefully it helps you. That's that's really why I made this video. I just want to help people, you know, and pass on what little knowledge I might have. So uh, good luck out there, boys. Good tenting. And um, while this really has nothing to do with my Twitch channel, feel free to follow me on Twitch. And tell your friends and stuff because I stream video games, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye.